so, you know, Carl hit on probably with the pandemic and the remoteness that does uh, bring about its own challenges there. I, I would also say the pandemic has probably caused a lot of organizations to have some financial issues they've had to, to adjust to and deal with. But I would hope that we don't allow it to, uh, to, to stop this great work around DNI that has to continue and has to take place. And we certainly have not. Um, so to think more about what obstacles, I would say around the vulnerability piece and probably for non-minorities in my, is getting individuals to be able and comfortable with opening up a little bit more. Um, and I, I know that there's a lot of uh, folks that feel like they may say the wrong thing. I personally feel like as long as you are coming from a place of curiosity, a, pl a place of trying to improve from where we're at, there's no wrong question, there's no wrong statement. Um, and it only is going to help us to move forward. And, and I would also say that um, that's probably been uh, probably one of the biggest challenges. Another thing I would highlight, though, is I think with minorities and being a diverse individual myself, um, it's, it's very draining to have to always go through your own experiences and share them. However, I personally endure it because I'm optimistic, very optimistic that it's going to help to propel us forward. And that honestly, one day we're going to have leaders sitting around having a panel like this, but highlighting and celebrating all the work we've done now to have a more diverse and inclusive tomorrow. So I'm, I'm very optimistic about that part of it. But I've been sharing and even my presentation.